वेलकम फ्रेंड्स दिस इज हर्षद पारेख इनवाइटिंग यू टू लिसन टू सम ऑफ माय शॉर्ट राइटिंग्स ऑन फिलोसॉफी रिलीजियन साइकोलॉजी स्पिरिचुअलिटी एजुकेशन कृष्णमूर्ति एंड नेचर आई होप यू हैव अ गुड लिसनिंग दिस इज ऑडियो ऑडियो नंबर फोर्टी नाइन Article number two ninety three. It is about inner beauty. How beautiful were the actress actresses of olden days? They were Nutan, Nanda, Nargis, Madhubala, Mina Kumari, Sadhana, Saira Banu, Lila Naidu, Suchitra Sen, Sharmila Tagore, and Vaidha Raman. they had grace and dignity in the films they acted of course this outward beauty of face and body does not last for long the beauty of people interested in money and fame deteriorates as they grow older that is why gautam buddha advised amrapali the most beautiful woman and dancer to live with awareness and simplicity in the world today fashion and beauty products is a big business people like to look good by using these products too much self consciousness destroys inner beauty to retain inner beauty which can last for life requires intelligence clarity confidence of innocence this is very difficult for people who easily get attracted to the ways of the world and imitate famous and superficial people this morning in the senior assembly at rishivali school a boy spoke passionately about the heavyweight boxer mohammad ali he was fascinated by the power of the boxer but ali could not live a healthy life for long there was something basically wrong with that kind of living with violence and pride article number 294 about watching ourselves this morning a tiny owl was looking at me curiously while i was walking among trees at the lost lake this reminds me of a joke i made up many years ago when i was teaching in rishivali once a boy asked sir do you go for birds watching i said no birds birds watch me i am a bigger bird my name is parakit i also said some people are interested in bird watching i am interested in watching at my own mind if you are interested in watching your own mind do come to our saturday meetings where we look at the world and our own mind when we learn how to look at our own mind we learn about all human beings and the world they have created we also learn how to create how we create problems for ourselves in relationship through unawareness article number 295 it's about creating peace our mind is bombarded every day by newspapers television and social media about what is happening in the outside world most of um, most of it is negative it is about violence and corruption there is very little beauty joy and creativity if our mind remains occupied with what is happening in the outside world if we want to contribute something of significance 
to the outside world, we must search for beauty, joy and creativity in our inner world. It is important to break away from the superficial activities of the restless mind and create order, love and peace through meditation. Walking in nature alone and coming in direct touch with the source from where thoughts originate. Watching our inner world passively is the first step in creating a beautiful outside world. If our inner world is not peaceful, we cannot create peace in the, out, in the outer world. Article number 296, it's about truth. Buddha did not answer questions of metaphysical nature such as, is the world eternal and infinite? Is there a soul or atma? Are body and mind one or separate? Buddha answered questions only about freedom from suffering created by the mind. Buddha spoke about emptiness of soul or atma just for guiding meditation. It is not to be taken as truth. No one has been able to locate the place of mind and soul if they exist. Metaphy metaphysical questions about mind and soul can make people lose touch with reality, what is happening now in, in the thing called mind. Buddha said that his teachings should not be made into doctrines. The teachings are like a raft to cross a river or a finger pointing to the moon. Truth is more important than words about truth. By truth is meant seeing things as they are. When the mind is silent and awake, things including thoughts are seen as they are. Love, beauty, happiness and freedom are felt in such a mind. Article number 297, it's about Madanapalli. It is a beautiful Sunday morning, like all mornings in Rishi Valley. The weather is cool and cloudy and birds are singing sweetly. The best time of the day for me is when I come out from my room at 5.30 a.m., have a cup of tea at the dining hall and then walk alone up on a hill near the lost lake. Walking is a pleasure and it is the time for meditation when all layers of habitual thinking disappear and everything look clear, fresh, beautiful, new. We went to Madanpalli yesterday for some work. Madan, Madanapalli was noisy, crowded, full of vehicles, people, shops, and very dirty. There is no park or garden in Madanpalli where one can rest and feel relaxed. This is the town where Krishnamurti was born, but very few people in this town know about him. The house where he was born is now a study center. There are many schools and colleges in and around Madanpalli, but they are mostly interested in making students score more marks and making them successful in examinations. The revolutionary teachings of Krishnamurti will attract very few sensitive teachers and students even in schools founded by Krishnamurti himself. Article number 298, it is about relationship without images. Moshe, who has been teaching carpentry in Rishi Valley School since 1976, told me this story. 
His story is long, but I am making it short to say something about Krishnamurti. Moshe was introduced to Krishnamurti for the first time in the carpentry room on December 7, 1976 by the principal, headmaster and the estate manager. The headmaster said to Krishnamurti, this is Moshe, the master carpenter. The headmaster meant that Moshe had a master's degree in carpentry. Krishnamurti laughed for a long time, looking at Moshe. Moshe felt insulted. He did not know who was Krishnamurti. He thought of Krishnamurti as an ordinary old man. Krishnamurti placed his hand on Moshe's shoulder and said, Be in Rishivali. Moshe was not interested in working in Rishivali at that time. He had just come for an interview for a job because he was paid traveling expenses. Krishnamurti told Moshe to make some buttons for his kurta from sandalwood. Moshe made some buttons of not very good quality and went to Krishnamurti's room to deliver the buttons. Krishnamurti liked the buttons and told Moshe to make a dining table and chairs for the guest house where he was staying. The dining table and chairs were bought from a town and Moshe had to assemble this furniture in the guest house. Krishnamurti helped Moshe in lifting the table while he was fixing bowls and nuts. Krishnamurti treated Moshe as a friend and Moshe still did not know who was Krishnamurti. After a few days, a lady devotee of Krishnamurti told Moshe about Krishnamurti. Then Moshe came to know that Krishnamurti was a world teacher of very high fame. Next time, when Moshe went to see Krishnamurti, he looked at Krishnamurti with great respect. But then Krishnamurti stopped talking with Moshe. This verifies Krishnamurti's teachings that there is no real relationship when we see people with previous knowledge and images. True relationship exists only when our looking is fresh without images. Most people looked at Krishnamurti with too much respect and devotion, but these people had no relationship among themselves. Sometimes they would compete to be close to the great teacher. Relationship without images is very rare and that is called love by Krishnamurti.